Hi, I'm Ms. B with ICES Education at Bud Carson Middle School in Hawthorne, and today we're going to learn how to make friendship bracelets. So to start this project, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need some cardboard, a pair of scissors, some embroidery floss. You can buy them in packs or you can buy them individually or whatever you have at your house works perfectly fine. A pen or a pencil and something to trace a circle. So for here I have some examples. This is the top of a candle, some painter's tape, or you can flip a cup upside down and trace that. So to start, we're going to take our circle and we're gonna place it down onto the cardboard and with a pen or a pencil, I'm going to choose a pen. You're going to place it down, hold it down with one hand and with the other, you're going to trace a circle around. So now once you have this circle, you're going to cut it out with your scissors. Be very careful so you don't cut yourself. Okay, so all you're going to need is the circle. So you can already just sit the rest of the cardboard aside, use it for a different project, recycle it. So I'm going to find halfway down the circle and I'm going to draw a line right in the middle. Okay, so now I'm going to do it again. So now it's cut into four pieces. Okay, I have four different sections. And I'm going to do it once more into these two. So four times two makes eight pieces. Okay, so we have our eight sections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to take the scissors and we're going to cut small slits on each of the lines of the circle. Okay. And you're also going to want to poke a hole right through the center of your circle. So use something sturdy, maybe the pen will be a better option in this one. And you're going to poke a hole right in the middle. Okay? You want the hole to be about that big. You don't want it too small so your bracelet can get fit right in there. Okay? Maybe wiggle your pencil around in it so it gets a little bit bigger. And on the other side, you're going to have all these little pieces raising up from where you poked it. You can take your piece of cardboard and flatten it down onto the table, and that'll flatten them down a little, okay? What you can also do, this is optional, you don't have to, is make the slit a little bit wider by cutting just a little triangle out of that corner. This can help when you're trying to take the string in and out of those little sections. Okay, so now we brush these aside. Don't forget to throw them away. Now that you have your circle ready, you're ready to bring in some colors. You're going to need seven different colors or just seven different pieces of string. So you can choose seven separate colors. You can choose two colors, three colors, however many colors you want. And for this, you don't really need a measure on a ruler. So you're just going to pull enough string to wrap around your wrist 
twice. So, where am I? Okay, and that will go around twice. And I could cut it there. You don't need to measure perfectly. Just two times around your wrist and that's all. Once you have your first string, you can use this string to measure out your new colors. So you can grab that one and then pull strengthen here. Match up this end and then you're, you're going to pull it so it's they're straight. Pull them together nice and even. And you're going to cut it to the same length. And you're going to do this with your next color. Okay. And you're going to keep going until you have all seven of your strings cut. So once you have all your strings cut, Make sure that they're all together and even. You're going to tie a knot, leaving about an inch, an inch and a half on the end, or about two to three fingers width. You're going to tie all of them in one knot. Just like this. This tail is a little long, but that's okay. So you're going to get your knot and you're going to pass it through the hole. So you want your knot to be right at the base of your circle. So you're going to hold this end down so it doesn't slip out when you pull it. Hold it down with your fingers. And you're going to place each string into your separate little cuts here. Since you have eight cuts, there will be one that left over. That's not a mistake. That's exactly what we need. And then from here you can kind of pull this oh, just very slightly so and then pull your all your strings together but don't pull it too far just enough to where they're stretched out okay so from here you're going to here's your empty one and you're going to count two one two and then your third one you're going to pick it up and tuck it into the empty space. So you're now you're going to turn it. And again, you're going to one, two. Turn one, two. Okay. And if it does help you, you can put little arrows to show which way that you will be turning your wheel. So I'm turning my wheel this way. And this just gives a little guide for you to keep track of which way that you're turning your wheel so you don't forget. It's also the way that you're pulling the string. So you're turning it this way and you're also picking it up and going along with the arrows and pulling it that way. So you're turning one, two, pick it up. One, two. And once in a while, grab your fingers and you can comb through the edges, the all the strings down below, so that it don't get tangled, because that can happen. And also once in a while, just remember to just tug on them just a little bit, so they're nice and tight on your wheel. And you're just gonna keep doing this. Might take a bit, 
it might take a long time. So, you can put on some music, watch a show as you're working. Don't forget to comb them out once in a while because you don't want to get knots in your bottom strings. And then you're going to keep going and keep Okay, so at some point you're going to be able to flip it over and you're going to see your bracelet starting to form. It's going to look like a little twisted bunch of strings. And it's going to look, in my opinion, really nice. So you're just going to keep going and keep going until it gets about the length to where you can start to wrap it around your wrist. You can even hold your wrist up to the cardboard and then start wrapping it around and from there you can see when it's time to for you to be able to take it off and tie it, okay? Okay, once you have enough length on your bracelet to where you can wrap it around and it meets on the other side, just like that, you're ready to take it off your wheel. So what you wanna do here is you wanna hold with two fingers the base of your bracelet and you're going to take all the strings off. Okay. So right here, our tail is a little long. We have a little bit extra string, which is perfectly fine. It's always better to have more than too little. So you're going to tighten a knot as close as you can to the end of the bracelet. If there's a little bit of space in between, that's okay. So you stretch it out. You could try it on. And then from here, you can just trim off the excess throw these away and then you, there you have it your bracelet so you could try to tie it yourself or you can have a family member or a friend tie it for you just like that you can double knot it for it to be more secure and there you go